like you be strong to hold the powers of the sun well hey guys welcome to this nomadic idea my name is scott um today we're going to show you how we have kind of set up our off-grid solar with very little money and when i talk about little money i'm talking about like man there's some products out there that you really need to take a look at that's going to save you a ton of money you don't need when you're first starting out you don't need this big robust solar system and i'm going to talk about that i'm going to talk about how we're going to have multiple um multiple 12 volt stations whether it's a bathhouse or or something else using one different portable solar charger and why that is going to be so important to look at and what you should look at when you're looking at solar chargers um, and really how we're going to use portable different ways to make this very cost effective you do not have to spend a lot of money uh, to run solar on an off-grid property when you're first starting out when you're first starting out and that's what I'm going to show you today we run everything right now 24 7 on very very little solar cost so I picked up um, I mean I actually garbage picked these things two 100 watt solar panels from Zamp these were the briefcase solar panels that actually came in the briefcase with an outdoor charge controller it's a 15 amp charge controller that's made for the outdoors that sits in back of the solar panels this has been a great find and if you can find these solar panels buy them because i'm going to show you what we're doing with these things because they can be portable we i can plug these things in in a in a ton of different 12 volt um, situations that i'm going to need 12 volt power all over the property So I take these Zamp solar panels, um, I plug them into my 12 volt battery that runs my 12 volt pump that pumps the water out to the airstream for now. I charge that and then I can take, I can just unplug it and plug it into the other 12 volt battery that's in the shed and have completely two different power stations, 12 volt without buying additional solar panels. The other thing that we use that we really, really have enjoyed is the Go Zero Yeti Core. This thing is really unique, and I'm gonna tell you why it's unique and why this is probably gonna power a lot of our stuff. It also powered the 12 volt system in our Airstream when we were replacing batteries. Okay, so this is why we like the Go Zero um, I think Blue Eddie bought it, but it's the Go Zero Core 1000 kilowatt hour portable solar generator. It's because the DC output can do 15 amps and has a dedicated Anderson plug that you can go from an MC4 connector right into that Anderson plug, not only to charge your Go Zero, but to pull 12 volts out of it into its own dedicated fuse box. So what I'm saying is 15 amps that can run almost an entire small RV on DC power only and a van on DC power only. And you only have to have one solar panel. You can get a 245 watt solar panel, mount it, no inverter, no charge controller, none of that other solar stuff, plug it right into a fuse box and there you go. That's why we like it. The Blue Eddy AC200L their DC can only do 10 amps. So, you know, it seems like the bigger the generator, the smaller the DC amp is, but um, the DC amp is gonna be really important, especially if you wanna run a lot of things on 12 volt, like we probably will. At some point in time, we'll have a 48 volt system, but for now, 12 volt is all you need. Um, I don't know if they're selling these things, but I'll put a link in the description below so you can take a look at it. Um, but that has been a great, we ran our whole RV off of that using one 245 watt panel. So when we replaced our old lead acid batteries in the Airstream uh, about a year and a half ago, we used the Goal Zero to power everything in the Airstream and we didn't really notice that much of a difference. 
So if you're looking for a very inexpensive way to run your entire, this is for small RVs, um, definitely for van lives. It's a matter of a 245 watt solar panel, plug into the Go Zero, plug the Go Zero into your DC fuse box, and you're set to go. Um, it's a lithium ion phosphate battery, so it's gonna last a long time, and we really, really like that uh, battery. For us, if our batteries start going bad, it's a great backup battery. All we have to do is turn off our battery switch, completely cuts off all of the DC um, from our house batteries, and we just have a regular Anderson connector that you can buy on Amazon. I'll put a link on all those cords below. And we just plug it into the Go Zero, into the fuse box, and it's not, it's not like we have house batteries at all. So we bought these 245 watt solar panels uh, at Sun Tan Solar. That is in Gilbert, Arizona. Um, they repurpose uh, solar panels that have been involved in grant funding projects or solar farms. They repurpose them, re-warranty uh, them, and we bought these panels for $35 each. They're 245 watt solar panels. So right now I bought 10 245 watt solar panels. So I've got about 2,400 watts of solar at, at a cost around 350 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. I can use one of those 245 watt solar panels and plug it in all day into the Gold Zero because it could only do 300 watts anyway, but I've got a 15 amp DC output that I can carry that thing around. And I mean, I have a plug and play situation no matter what we do. We're gonna get ready to build a bathhouse. So that's gonna run a pump, probably some lights, maybe some other, some other things. And that's gonna be plenty of power to run that. So, um, so far we've pretty, we, you know, we have almost three, well, we have over 3000 Watts of solar for very little money. So I'd like to hear from you solar experts out there. Is this good plan, bad plan, smart, dumb, stupid. would love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, I think it's going to be okay, but you know, we'll see. You don't know until you actually try, you know, putting it all together. So this is kind of our next project. We're gonna plumb in this portable washer that we have. There's the 12 volt battery right here that will run that 12 volt pump. And then we'll run this on our Blue Yeti over here. So that's kind of a plan for this. That's gonna, I think I'm gonna to try to do that this weekend and plumb all that in since we now have water catchment in one of our totes. So our water catchment system, we see the gutter coming in here. That's the first flush. It comes down here, there's a little ball that goes up, blocks that, and then the water comes in here. Um, and then I'm gonna put a screen and filter this water here. We'll probably have another attachment coming down here. This eventually is gonna be a big garden area um, right here and um, grow some pretty cool stuff. That tree is coming down right here. There's a pine in here. And those two pines, these three pines are gonna stay, but these are gone. So the portable washer takes about, uh, you know, about 300 watts of uh, power when the washer cycle is going. And then it takes about 120 watts when the dryer is going. So, you know, kind of keep that in mind when uh, you're looking at power needs. I mean, I actually found this thing years ago, um, Nomadic Fanatic, uh, when he was RVing, this is like eight years ago, he used this on solar. Um, and yeah, it works fine on solar. Uh, you have no problem. We have about uh, 500, 600 watts of solar coming in right now. Um, the cycle only uses, and maybe you're running it for one, maybe you're using it for like three minutes uh, from wash time, rinse time, dry time. Maybe it's a total of 10 minutes. So it doesn't use that much power. Of course, you know, we do it during the day when it doesn't really hurt our solar at all. But yeah, I mean, that that thing is a game changer for doing laundry. It's $135. You figure you're spending almost $10 out of, at a laundromat if you do laundry once a week. That's 52, 52 weeks, $10, $520. You make this up in about six months, uh, just going ahead and buying it and doing laundry on your property or in an apartment or in an RV. So, so far we're running 24 hours a day, um, seven days a week. Every once in a while I have to turn on the generator, maybe about 20 minutes a day at the very most, depending on how cloudy it is and you know what 
what the weather is but so far so good you know we've been we've been pretty lucky it's a we know we're not ready to spend a lot of money on solar um so we're not ready to get those big eg4 set up and big solar set up we're not there yet um we might not be there for a while but for right now we know what our energy needs are we know what we want to run we know if we, we have to do laundry um i stay up until 12 o'clock at night usually watching tv our starlink runs from nine o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock at night um and so at about eight o'clock at night i'll come out turn on the generator um the blue eddies at about 80 percent i get that up to about 100 percent takes about 20 minutes and then that takes us to um midnight and then the next morning at about eight o'clock it's about like 50 percent so um you know that's kind of what our solar system is right now it's working um it has very i mean compared to when we first got here uh the blue eddy has made a big difference in our lives for sure um i'm gonna put a link in this i'm gonna put a link in the description for all this stuff so you can do your research on it you really want to check out santan solar and gilbert though that's really where the money savings is um and really good deals on amazon like prime and uh, thanksgiving black friday things like that for some of these portable solar generators uh, because there's some really good deals on it so anyway i hope you got something out of it if you guys have any questions please ask um you know i always answer all the questions on our youtube page so you're more than welcome to ask so i uh, hope you liked the video i i hope some of this stuff kind of sinks in because some, the the gold zero um uh especially that particular model um has a great dc output for small rvs and vans and other portable stations so you really want to kind of check out that product and i'll put a link on that too so anyway hey you guys thanks for watching we'll see you later give it a thumbs up i appreciate it and hit the subscribe button and we'll see you later